Was 2020 even real? Because I'm not gonna lie, that has to be one of the most random years to ever occur. A global pandemic, random black squares on Instagram, Little Uzi actually dropping an album. When you look back at it, bro, 2020 is gonna be one of the hardest sections in history in like probably 70 years. Good morning class. My name is Mr. Slam Buscool, but you guys can call me Cam Slam. And today we're gonna be studying the section of the year 2020. Now in this section, we'll be having 365 tests for each day of that year and each test will be worth 100 points so by the end of this whole section you'll be looking at around 36,500 points a lot of you are gonna fail. For this past week, while I've been scrolling through Twitter, I've been seeing some of the craziest videos from 2020. I seen a dude screaming the hard R. I seen a dude praying to Donald Trump on TikTok Live. Please, somebody tag in Donald Trump. Donald Trump, if you can hear us, please, Donald Trump, please save me. Please save me, Donald Trump, please. Please save me. Please get these people away from me. I seen people flexing stimulus checks. Bro, 2020 was literally a fever dream. 2020 was one of those years where you either had a glow up or a glow down. I've seen dudes go from a six pack of pudding cups to a six pack of brick hard abs. And then I've seen the complete opposite where people go from six pack of brick hard abs to a six pack of literally gelatin. Bro, what's crazy is that everyone in 2020 was either a conspiracy theorist, a content creator, or a straight up weeb. I'm pretty sure this is the year where they put Avatar on Netflix. And since then, the weeb stock has gone up like exponentially. But speaking of conspiracy theorists, bro, do you guys know how many theories were going around when the Ronizi first came out? Pause the video. Now, no, I'm going to be saying the Ronizi a lot in this video. And when I say Ronizi, I mean the vid. I just don't want to say the word because I think YouTube is probably going to freaking age restrict this video. And I don't want this video to get age restricted for me telling a few jokes. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, I just wanted to clear that up just so you guys aren't confused. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Continue the video. Enjoy. Literally, if you even sniffled next to somebody, bro, they are going to literally pull a freaking AC-130 out of their back pocket and blow you to smithereens. And don't even think about coughing. If you cough next to somebody, bro, literally, you're getting banned from the whole country. It was actually insane. But what's even crazier is that when the Ronizi was at its peak, why was everybody rushing to get toilet paper? I remember literally, bro, I was like so nervous during this time. I legit thought we were all gonna die. You know when the toilet paper shelves are out of stock that's when you know something's going down but what's even funnier is that during this time if you had instagram dog it was a whole different like oh my gosh whole different atmosphere boozy ig lives those three words right there oh my gosh this had to be the start of the only fans movement if you literally just went on instagram throughout any time of the day boozy was always live having some only fans models twerk random grandmas twerk it would literally range from random 20 year olds to random 80 year olds shaking their butts because they got unemployed and they need a little bit of cash you could randomly wake up one day and you might see your auntie on there because she just got laid off last week and speaking of getting laid off Bro, do you guys remember the face of unemployment? Literally, this dude caught the meanest stray for no reason. Imagine you wake up one day and you are the face of unemployment. You are the face of broke people. You are the brokest of them all. If you literally go to any Twitter comment section and you see somebody begging for something, I don't know, like an OnlyFans model begging for subs, you are going to see this picture. And when you see this picture, every single person knows what it means already. That means you are broke. But what's even funnier than the face of unemployment were stimulus checks. Now y'all are gonna be like, Cameron, how are stimulus checks funny? Bro, hear me out. I can't tell you how many times I seen dudes get the first stimulus check and start flexing a Rolex on their freaking story the next week. I seen dudes pull up in a Hellcat after they sent out those stimulus checks. I seen dudes throwing mansion parties after they got a stimulus check. I seen dudes literally owning a tiger after they got a stimulus check. Bro, literally, stimulus checks were the craziest thing to ever happen in history. Imagine getting free money in your bank account and you don't have to work at all isn't that an insane sequence if you saw anybody flexing money throughout this time bro you just know that they got that stimulus check it was actually insane but you know how i said that i seen dudes own a tiger after stimulus checks well speaking of tigers do you guys remember when netflix was on a complete tear during 2020 tiger king i still have not watched it till this day but that's all i heard about in 2020 tiger king on my block and freaking outer banks these were like the three shows that everyone was binging during 2020 but i'm not gonna lie on my block completely fell off 
completely. I'm pretty sure it was like season three during this time, but I remember everybody was just making Carol Baskin jokes after freaking Tiger King came out, and I never knew what it meant. Carol Baskin. Killed her, husband, whacked him. I was never tapped in. I never watched the movie. I was really, I was really out of touch. But speaking of out of touch, you know one of the craziest things ever? Bro, Michael B. Jordan thirst trapping for people to vote. Bro, why is this man biting his lip and posting a chest peck pick for people to vote bro that has to be the most light-skinned behavior to ever happen imagine you wake up and you're scrolling through twitter one day and you see a picture like <laughs> vote 2020 early and it's michael b jordan bro number one i'd block the account because i'm already pissed off i'm on twitter do you know how pissed off you gotta be to wake up and go on twitter and number two i'm gonna be even more pissed off because why are you thirst trapping for people to vote look michael b jordan is one of my favorite actors of all time you know what i'm saying i just got finished binging the whole creed series but seeing this man thirst trap votes in 2020 i would have thought drake would do something like that before michael b jordan but y'all want to know something even funnier this man kim jong-un faked his death to expose the snakes in his circle. That is crazy. My boy said, all right, I gotta figure out who is fake nowadays. You know what? I'm gonna fake my death. You know what? That's gonna work. That's gonna get them. And it actually worked. That has to be one of the craziest methods of all time. But hey, it's time to get a little serious real quick. Look, RIP to all the people who wrongfully died to a police officer. But what was even going on on social media in 2020? Why were people posting black squares thinking that it was gonna change the whole entire universe by posting a black square on Instagram? I'm so confused till this day. I'm not gonna lie, I did post a black square. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna expose myself. I was one of those people who was posting a black square. But what did that even do? I remember I was trying to scroll through IG that day and all I saw were black squares everywhere. And I just thought to myself like, bro, what is going on? Bro, literally everyone was fighting for their life not to get canceled back in 2020. I seen dudes post a black square, then say the hard R in a Call of Duty lobby the next day. Like, bro, this year couldn't be real. And you know what's even crazier? Bro, this video of freaking King Batch. Rest in peace, George Floyd. Bro, this is literal proof that people were doing anything not to get canceled. And this isn't even the worst of it. Bro, look at this video right here. I might not be the same, but that's not important. No freedom till we're equal. Damn right, I support it. Ba -na -na. These people posted these videos thinking that it was going to solve world issues, but it literally did nothing. People were just trying to save their butts during that time. If anything, I'm going to think you're more racist if you're riding all over yourself looking like a Chipotle bag. Look, man, I'm speaking for the Chipotle bags out there. I'm a huge Chipotle fan, but this is very discriminatory to these freaking Chipotle bags. Justice for Chipotle bags, literally. But bro, I remember when people were dropping videos like this. This was like one of the weirdest times on social media. But you know what's even weirder? When you hear that little baby song, the bigger picture, you don't think of, I guess, BLM or anything. You think of Jideon now. Bro, I swear, in 2021, when Jideon started skyrocketing, bro, this song literally changed everyone's perspective. You can't even think of, like, global issues with that song anymore. You just think of Jideon taking a knee, putting a fist up, bro. I'm not gonna lie, though. Lil Baby was dropping bangers back in 2020. Same with Meg The Stallion, The Baby, Roddy Rich, and Doja Cat. They were all on a tear. If you went on any sort of social media, TikTok specifically, you would be hearing Rockstar, Like That, Say So, Savage, like, bro, oh my gosh. They literally ran the music industry. But you know what's even crazier? Uzi actually dropped that year in 2020. I'm not gonna lie, conspiracy theory. Little Uzi Vert is responsible for the Ronizi. Cause hear me out, right? Eternal Take drops and the next week I'm out of school for I'm pretty sure it was a two week break. Then that two week break turned into a whole year. But in that year, we got a deluxe from Lil Uzi. So did Uzi start the Ronizi? That's literally how every single conspiracy theorist in 2020 sounded, honestly. But y'all remember Life is Good by Drake and Future? We've all seen the meme by now. Ever since this song dropped, life has not been good. Bro, Kobe? R.I.P. that man. Bro, the Ronizi? Bro, we out of school now and everyone can't even speak to each other? Like, bro, I don't know what Drake and Future were cooking up, but they cooked up something serious that year, honestly. But all that being said, we gotta take a look at the gaming scene back in 2020. Bro, literally every single human being was a 
streamer. I remember I started streaming during this year and I also got scammed for a webcam because the webcam market, oh my gosh, a $60, $70 webcam was like three times the price because everyone wanted one for online schooling. And speaking of markets going up, bro, literally the Among Us boom was one of the craziest times in gaming history. This little $5 game literally killed so many of my friendships. Bro, if somebody said that you look sus or something like that, dog, it was going to be a whole screaming match for the next 180 seconds. But you know a game that made me scream even more than Among Us? Fall Guys. A game that was like $20 with these little plushy squishy characters. I don't know what it is, but games with these little plushy squishy characters make you rage even more. Because when it looks like a cutesy game and you're trying to win, it's fierce in that competition and some BS happens to you and you lose? Bro, it makes you even more mad. Bro, I remember I kept on getting grabbed in Fall Guys 24-7 and I could never win. But when I started grabbing people, whoa, wait, wait, in Fall Guys, in Fall Guys, that sounds kind of crazy. I never won. But one thing I did do is I made them mad. But all that being said, I feel like in conclusion, just to wrap this video up, 2020 was a literal fever dream. You had people riding on themselves like a Chipotle bag. You had people flexing stimulus checks and you had random people spamming black squares on social media. 2020 was a crazy year, honestly. But with all that being said, tell me your 2020 experience in the comment section below. But yeah, this is gonna wrap up the video. If you guys made it this far, I appreciate you. If you guys enjoyed this video, then I highly recommend you guys check Check out my most recent video where I talk about live action movies should be a literal crime to society. But yeah, with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. It's Cameron, and I'm out.